In this tutorial we will learn how to get a live Bitcoin price and display it on the TTGOESP32. For this tutorial you will need a TTGOESP32, a Wi-Fi connection and Viswino software. Go to viswino.eu and download and install Viswino software. Go to projects.petrucci.ch to obtain the Bitstamp certificate. Start Viswino and select TTGOT Display ESP32. Select the ESP32 board and in the Properties window expand Modules, Wi-Fi and click on the Connect to Access Points 3 dots. Drag Access Point to the left. In the Properties window set Wi-Fi Access Name and Password, this could be for the router or hotspot. Close the Access Points window. Select the ESP32 board and in the Properties window expand Modules, Wi-Fi and click on the Sockets 3 In the dots. Sockets window, drag TCP IP Secure Client SSL to the left side. In the Properties window select Host and paste www.bitstamp.net. In the Properties window select Cassert and click on the three dots button and paste the SSL certificate. Close the sockets window. Select the ESP32 board and in the properties window expand modules, display and set orientation to go right. Click on the elements three dots. In the elements window, drag, draw text to the left side and in the properties window set size to 2 and text to ask. In the elements window drag, text field, to the left and in the properties window set size to 3, color to, ACL gold, and Y to 20. In the elements window drag another, draw text, to the left and in the properties window set size to 2 and text to big and Y to 48. In the elements window drag another, text field, to the left and in the properties window set size to 3, Color to ACL Gold and Y to 66. In the Elements window, drag another, draw text to the left and in the Properties window, set size to 2 text to last and Y to 92. In the elements window drag another, text field, to the left and in the properties window set size to 3, color to, ACL gold, and Y to 110. Optionally you can add bitmap to the display, to do that in the elements window drag, draw bitmap, 
to the left side and in the properties window set X to 160, Y to 30. Click on the bitmap three dots. In the bitmap editor click on the load button and load image. Close the bitmap editor. Close the elements window. Add HTTP client component. In the properties window select, host, and paste www.bitstamp.net. Double click on the, HTTP client 1, and in the, requests window, drag. Get, to the left side and in the properties window add the following URL. Close the requests window. Add split JSON component. In your browser navigate to this URL, and copy the JSON code. You can also find the link at the bottom of this video. In Visuino, right-click on the split JSON 1 and in the menu click on the parse JSON object. In JSON object window paste the sample code and close the window. Add clock generator component. Select clock generator 1 and in the properties window set frequency to 0.2. This will be the refresh time. You can adjust it if you want. Add char to text component. Add delay component. Select char to text 1 and in the properties window set max length to 2000. Select delay 1 and in the properties window set interval to 2 million. Connect ESP32 board, pin, remote connected, to, HTTP client 1, pin clock. Connect clock generator 1 pin out to HTTP client 1 pin clock. Connect HTTP client 1 pin out to Wi-Fi pin in. Connect HTTP client 1 pin content to char to text 1 pin in. Connect char to text 1 pin out to split JSON 1 pin in. Connect split JSON 1 pin ask to display text field 1 pin in. Connect split JSON 1 pin bid to display text field 2 pin in. Connect split JSON 1 pin last to display text field 3 pin in. You can choose to connect other pins as well. Connect ESP32 pin connected to delay 1 pin start. Connect delay 1 pin out to Wi Fi pin disconnect. Connect delay 1 pin out to char to text 1 pin clock. On the bottom select the build tab 
Make sure you selected the right port and click on the Compile Build and Upload button.